In this video, I'm teaching you guys, or sharing with you guys, as I like to say, on how to work straight off of a spool and get 11 beads, my boho beads, ready and going, just like that. I got 11 done in, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or less. And you'll be needing wire, some round nose pliers, and some cutters, your boho beads that are already pre-wrapped, meaning already wrapped with at least paper or fabric, that not even embellished. This one I embellished with you guys, you'll see that at the end of the video. You'll need uh, anything to wrap around with, like that wire, and bead caps, bead fillers, and I just had a basket of pre-wrapped boho beads, meaning with the fabric. And then I teach you guys how to work off of a spool and get all the bead caps on, wire them, and fill them with beads. Okay, and by the end of the video we'll have just done this one together. And then there's the other videos you guys can watch. So if you are interested, keep watching and the video will start right after this. See you guys later. Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? I'm here in my craft room playing around and and then I know that I have some beads, the boho beads that I make. I have a few trades to do um, and I want to get them all done quickly so I thought I'd come on and share with you guys how I'm doing that. So I figured this out. So I've just sat in me and, and covered a lot of the pin uh, caps that I did you know the recycled pins pencil what are they called barrels and put the fabric right so I had all of these here that you see on the side I have three four left and what I've been doing to get it done quickly is I just have my spool and I'm working off of the spool I'm putting my bead cap in and then I'm putting my filler which are these little little beads. They're really pretty, but I have a few baggies of them so I can use them up. Right? So I put my filler. That should be good enough for that one. Then I'm going to put my... That one's not going to fit. That one doesn't even need to be the beads. Let's see. Measure it up to the side right here. Let me, let me zoom you guys in some. Measure the beads, the fillers, the filler beads on the side so that your wire doesn't wiggle around. Throw your boho bead on top. And grab two bead caps. One is going to go for the bead we just worked on. Right? And then one is going to go facing the opposite way for the next bead. And then we go again. Grab a few beads. Bead fillers. Grab your... That one's done already. That one's done. Measure it up. About two more. Am I on camera? I get, need to get in the habit of constantly looking. Okay, measure it up. One more. Throw in your boho bead and grab two caps. One for the boho bead and one for the next one. Right? Grab your bead fillers. This one will probably take four. Maybe five. Throw in your boho bead. And sometimes they don't want to fit. Now when they don't want to fit, I try to force it to fit with a tool. So what I do is put 
push, try to push one in, push them in like that. And if I get them in, okay, that means I don't need these last three because it's such a tight fit that it's perfectly fine with just those two. Okay, and again, your two bead caps. One for the one we just worked on. Maybe I could throw a bead in this way. Let's try it. Yeah, I went and find that way. One for the bead we just worked on. Am I on camera? And one for the next one. And just push down. Okay. This one doesn't need any beads. No bead fillers. Okay. Now we're ready to rock. Let me clean up my little section here. I appreciate you guys' this time. And put that away. Put my little beads away too. So now we're ready for the next step. Next step is to create the loops. That's stuck. Let's grab another one. So now we have all of these beads, right? And they're all just chilling there. And now we're just going to start. Okay, so you go from to the end and do your little loop. And you can clean it up after. You can come back when you're done with all of them and clean them up basically cutting whatever's left. So push that one and do your other end. And now we're still working off the spool. Right? Cut it off. You got your your bead ready. Move on to the next one. And like I said, you can clean that up after. Just continue. We're still working on this spool, which saves you so much wire and so much time. Cut it off. Move on to the next one. So when you're working on the, when you're doing your next step, which I'll do one with you guys once these are all done. My own camera. There we go. Little by little I start pulling it towards me so that I can see better. And you can just keep popping these out all night. And I've uh, emailed the people that left me their email and I've sent my address. And I forgot to mention in the video that it's USA only. Uh, unfortunately, we all know why. Basically, postage is way too high for some of us. And let's see. So that if you want to trade, USA only, private message me your email, and I'll send you my address. As soon as I receive yours, I'll return a package back to you. You, uh, yeah. That's the way it'll work. It's a way to work for me. Hope it works out for you guys. That one's a bit long. That's okay. We'll still use it and work with it. Am I still on camera? I gotta look up. 
just barely. Now there's all sorts of bead caps, different sizes. I happen to have these because these were sent to me by Angela, I think. Sorry if I got that wrong, but I think it was Angela. I think so, or Tammy. I apologize. I need to talk to you ladies a little more so that I can continue remembering who's who. Because there's about, what, 3,000 and some of you guys. It's hard to keep track of everybody. And who's who and who sends what after a while I kind of forget um, yeah apologize for that but we're getting these done we're almost done you guys can basically see what I'm sharing with you guys on how to get lots of them done all at once Stay, step one is just to empty your pin your pins and use the well use the the cap you know empty it use the the whole pin I sound like a crazy lady let's see so for instance once this is finished I could refill this but this is the part that's inside there's a video on how I did these beads just look up boho beads I have them in a playlist for under uh, DIY home jewelry or something like that. There's a whole playlist. You can see how I did them. So it would basically step one would be to empty that, cut them to whatever size you want. Second step would be I'm recording! Second step would be to put your fabrics in if you wanted to. Like this one is a nail Thing. I just a nail sticker I just had on the side I stuck it in third step would be to embellish but there's a whole video on that the video was pretty popular my m other pretty popular video was um, an inspiration that Stacy Evans pink poodle crafter gave me was the the CDs on the little tiles that one was pretty popular this thing is slipping right off. What else? What else did I want to tell you guys? Thanks for liking my real-time videos, you guys. The ones that have been with me for the longest time have always liked those, and so have I. I just tried to dive into something different and go through speed-throughs, but I really like the real-time, just like you guys. and chit-chat with you guys. Why you guys create. What else? Oh, to my special subscriber. All you guys are special, but there's one special lady. I can't mention her name. She doesn't want me to. Um, from Africa. You had your daughter message me on Facebook. And you had an inspirational video for me. And you wanted me to recreate it, of course, in my style. I've been meaning to message you or your daughter on Facebook to tell you that I, I still want to do it. I really do. And I'm going to. I just don't have the CDs right now. And I haven't come across free CDs or a yard sale where they sell CDs for cheap. Not yet. But when I do, I'm going to do the video. And you inspired me to do that video. So. I'll probably remember to message you tomorrow. When I do remember, it's quite late. And I would hate to message you in the middle of the night or message your daughter in the middle of the night. Okay, so we're done. We got how many done? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I think 3 were already done. So 11. Whew. Next step is to either wrap some fibers, right? Wrap or wrap some some beads around, or what I like to do. Just 
wrap some wire. And I have a new idea just right now. So I'm going to lay this in here. I'm going to just grab it like that. Hopefully I'm on camera and grab my very, very thin wire. Let me start this off this way. I'm going to wrap it. Oh, I need to clean that up. This is what I meant about cleaning it up after. I'm going to wrap it here a few times just to get a good handle. See, now I can hold it tight and pull on it taut. Then I'm going to get this bead, trim, wrap it like that, and then wrap the wire around freely and let these beads wrap around freely also. trim. These are little plastic uh, pearls. I think it's called pearl trim. I'm not even sure they were sent to me. And finish that one off right there. And go up there and be done. So that one's pretty. And that was just so freeform, so however it wanted to be. Okay, so I will come back. Or actually, there's the video on how to do these. I just wanted to show you the technique of the spool and how to work off of the spool and how I was doing that. Okay, so you guys have seen them, and if you haven't, there's videos in a playlist called Do It Yourself Jewelry or Do It Yourself Beads. I have lots of playlists. Okay, hope you guys enjoy. Bye bye.